two-factor authentication adds an extra layer of protection to your accounts. Having said that, hackers can still find ways to bypass it. In this video, we will explore different methods hackers use to bypass two-factor authentication. The first on the list is social engineering. This is one of the common methods hackers can use to obtain credentials. Then there is brute force. In some cases, malicious hackers will opt for different ways of brute force attacks in order to gain access to the generated tokens. For example, if your multi-factor authentication app uses facial recognition to access your accounts, hackers can look for online pictures of your face in order to bypass the facial recognition feature. Then you have SIM swapping. Many multi-factor authentication apps use SMS verification. In this method, the attacker contacts the target's mobile service provider, pretends to be the user, and requests a new SIM card. These are just some of the ways hackers can bypass multi-factor authentication. This is why it is important to add as many layers of protection to your accounts as possible to mitigate such methods. I hope you found this video helpful. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next one.